Do you have plans for January 21st? Mary Noel and the Parish Peace Project are putting together an opportunity for dialogue and reflection at Providence of God Catholic Church in Pilsen. We'd love for you to join us. We're going to be coming together to dialogue with our neighbors and friends around what happened during our recent election cycle and the issues that are important to us to figure out how we can move forward together as a community of faith. And this is an opportunity for us to, to, to say who we are and to, uh, and to be who we are. And this is a wonderful experience and opportunity to do that and to speak with hope about uh, in spite of in who is elected president, who is in any particular role, God is God. God's church must be God's church and our role is to proclaim and announce the kingdom that God was here first and the church is here to defend the rights especially of the vulnerable and the defenseless among us. That's what Jesus came to do and that's what he expects of his church, especially now. Hemos visto una, un ciclo de elecciones que ha sido um, bien doloroso en, en mucho sentido. Que hay gente de, de varios lados que no quieren hablar y que um, no quieren uh, ni quieren pasar tiempo juntos. Entonces, um, lo que queremos hacer es de practicar un poquito de cómo tener un diálogo, cómo tener conversación y dar personas tiempo de practicar eso. Um, durante el día, pero más que todo es que ellos van a formar un plan de acción de cómo pueden traer esa forma de diálogo a sus comunidades, a la familia, o al, al trabajo, o a la escuela. Mary Noel has a focus on um, building bridges in society, and so that's another thing we're hoping to do at this particular session, is offer people the opportunity to go, and, go forth and be that bridge in their own communities, to be a bridge uh, and to invite people who are on opposite sides within their own family unit to come together, or people who are uh, have different viewpoints at the workplace, to sit down and to really dialogue and see what do we need and how can we move forward and how can we best care for all people in our society, for all human beings, and what will that look like? And then figure out how do we bring that message forward to our leaders, um, those at the local level, but all the way up to the top, of what do we as human beings need to live um, lives that honor the gospel message. And this is the hour of young adults also to stand up and define themselves in this present generation, who they are, and I think in the midst of a, a counter message, it is to be seen as an opportunity for us to state who we are and what our hopes and dreams are and what is the world that uh, we've inherited and that we want to continue to, to purify and to consecrate and, and to improve upon as we evolve and advance and, and become what we're, what we're called to be. And the young adults represent that. It's their time now to step up, and uh, especially the immigrant community. You know, their parents crossed borders. They made incredible sacrifices. They got here. Now, what's the young adults' response? We talked even today at Mass about God loved us first unconditionally. Doesn't matter what we do, God continues to love us. And that's the role of the church to just be there uh, and what is our response to that love? And what is the young adult response to all that their parents have done to get them to this moment? And what is our response now as uh, citizens of this country for all that this country has done for us and moved us in this, but not as to be filled with fear, uh, but to rather stay claim to who we are and what we've achieved and what we want to achieve.